Hi guys, it's me Jimmy a Geek. Everybody want to get a graphic card with a huge amount of VRAM like the GTX 980 Ti with 6GB or the R9 390 or the R9 390X with a whopping 8GB of VRAM or the Titan X with 12GB of VRAM but if you don't know if you want to play GTA 5 on ultra setting on ultra 4K setting with sweet FX mode if you don't know what I'm talking, make sure to watch my video. It requires 14 gigabyte of VRAM. Even I buy a Titan X with 12 gigabyte of VRAM, but it still requires 14 gigabyte of VRAM. And then here's a graphic card announced by the AMD. is is having 32 gigabyte of VRAM. It's called AMD Fire Pro S9170. It will be coming around 4,000. 4000 US dollar price point is costing you four times more than a Titan X, but it is a workstation graphical, not a gaming graphical. But do not get me wrong, even you can game on a workstation graphical. I mean, you can easily game on it. The point of here is that not i mean just i mean i'm telling you to buy this graphic and try to game i mean there can be some weird problem with it it's designed for more work extension the main is that now amd can easily put 32 gigabyte of gddr5 vram on a graphic card so they can easily bring this design to the gaming graphic maybe the upcoming r amd r9 490 a 490x and the 490 is going to have 16 gigabyte of video my opinion that it's going to have 16 gigabyte of winner basically amd will just cut 32 gigabyte into half and they put and and the amd r9 fury up next amd r9 fury i'm not thinking that it can have anything more than 4 gigabyte of VRAM v ram because just watch my video introduction to hbm you will know why it can't have more than 4 gigabyte of VRAM. there is some kind of limitation to it but the amd r9 490 and the 490x will be based on a new GP everybody hate. I mean the R9 300 series. I mean it's a bullshit. Basically AMD just rebranded everybody know. Now make sure to check the link in the description box. You will subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.